What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling off the chain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope the family's doing good. Hope the money's coming. Y'all already know how I give it up, man. Appreciate you guys for rocking out with your boy. The love, the support. Hey, man, it goes a long way, and I really do appreciate it. But, as always, I ain't coming to take up too much of your time. We're going to hop right into today's video, man. Y'all know I'm a gourmand lover, man. Y'all know I love my sweeter fragrances. So, I thought I'd just bring y'all some fragrances that's going to help you smell like a snack. So, I got about seven fragrances out here, man, that's going to make you smell edible, man. It's going to turn you into a, a snack, and hopefully your girl or your man will be turned into a cookie monster or something like that. But... Let's go ahead and hop right into it. First fragrance I got for y'all, I ain't really more so a snack, but it's definitely more so of a beverage. This is gonna be for my coffee lovers out there, man. Shout out to my guy, 20 Degrees in LA for putting me on. Definitely plan on going back and giving me a full bottle of this, but this is a ice maca laca cappuccino frappuccino. I'm not a big coffee guy, but it smells absolutely amazing and it's coffee. Coffee and all this glory from the house of Duo. That one being Cafe de Duo, y'all. Cafe de Duo, man. Rich, roasted coffee, creamy, lactonic, French vanilla, coffee made type vibe, man. This is so nice, y'all. Definitely in the gourmand type realm, and for me, gourmands just smells like, if it smells like it's edible, this is more so beverage wise, but you, you get where I'm going with this, right? Cafe de Dua, man. If you haven't checked this out, definitely do so. For all my coffee lovers out here, hey, this is it. This is it. Second fragrance I got for y'all, man. I'm definitely looking forward to putting this on because this just smells like a snack, period. You're gonna walk around smelling like coffee cakes man and this one coming from the house of Hez Parfums that one being Cafe Beignet Cafe Beignet a gourmand's dream sugary powdery donuts or beignets in this sense man that's what it smells like and he brought it to life very very nicely man it does have a slightly nutty of course some syrupiness to it but that powder sugar doughy bread type of vibe is what it is man it smells amazing longevity is pretty decent as well i got about five hours on my skin longevity however the scent profile and if you're trying to smell like a snack this is where it's at i should have been a rapper cafe beignet next fragrance i got for y'all is no stranger to the channel man i've been speaking about this for a minute and I, I really feel like it's in the same ballpark as Cafe Beignet, but this one has a little bit more going on. But again, still that doughy cinnamon. This one has honey. This has vanilla. There's agarwood in this one as well. From the house of Zoha Aroma, y'all. This one is called Majalis. Majalis, man. This is a really, really nice fragrance, man. This is something. This is actually a fragrance that got me one of the craziest compliments ever, man. I love this stuff. It's really, really good. I'm going to show y'all the notes real quick, man. Again, this one has cacao, vanilla, coffee, honey, amber, agarwood, uh, tonka bean, and a few other things, man. But this is an experience, a gourmand's dream. I love this stuff. Definitely gonna make you smell like a snack for real, for real. I feel like it's okay to walk around smelling like a snack sometimes, especially when it's cold, you know. It's gonna make somebody wanna get up on you, you know what I'm saying? Majalis. Next fragrance is probably the gourmand fragrance I've had the longest in my collection, man. Once I show you this juice color, you're gonna be like, yeah, this is macerated to the T. This is vanilla, this is cacao. This also, I believe, have honey in as well. You're gonna smell like a warm tussie roll from when they first started coming out. Alexandria Fragrances, y'all. This one is called Cacao Dreams. Cacao Dreams, y'all. And look at that juice color. That thing been sitting, sitting. Even the atomizer got juice in there. But man, 
as I like to say, chocolate in all of its glory. This is really, really good stuff, man. <sighs> they did this so good, man. Definitely gotta get you a bottle if you haven't already. If you really want to smell like a snack or really want to smell like a Tootsie Roll, you're really trying to get that Cuddle Buddy action into a T. Cacao Dreams is where you need to be. I'm about to drop another 16 just to let you know what I mean because I'm on the scene and this is Cacao Dreams. Oh! Next fragrance I got for y'all, keeping it going with the chocolatey goodness, man. This is another fragrance that I really, really enjoy, that I love, and a lot of people like too. It's kind of funny when some people say they don't like this fragrance, but then again, different strokes for different folks. Not everybody likes chocolate, you know what I'm saying? This one coming from the house of Latafa, though, gonna help you smell like a snack. Y'all should already know. Nebras. Nebras. Latafa Nebras, man. This is like this cherry, cacao, dusty type of vibe. Smells amazing. I would say it's unisex. Some would say it leans a little bit more feminine, but I don't care. It's fire. Love it. Definitely gonna have you smell like a snack. That one being Latafa Negras. Last fragrance I got for y'all, man. I gotta show some love to the indies as always, man. I have been wearing this a little bit more often, and this is gonna have you smell like cherry liqueur. <laughs> From the house of making sense, y'all. This one is called Cherry Evolution. And this is their version of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, I believe. And they did an awesome job, man. You get like this sweet cherry liqueur vibe. There's some vanilla. A little bit of a sugariness, some little freshness to it as well. Longevity on this is really good. I get a full work day about seven, eight hours, depending on how much I spray. But this is really nice stuff, man. I gotta show love to Making Sense because they've been doing some crazy good work as well. Another indie house that's been on fire. Making Sense. Cherry Evolution, snack appropriate. And that's gonna do it for me, y'all. Those are seven fragrances in my collection, man, that I feel would definitely have you, you know, smell like a snack. It's actually six. My seventh fragrance, y'all, is actually going to be Commodity Milk. If you smell Commodity Milk, you already know. You can either go with Commodity Milk or Gold. Either or, man. They both are fire. I do have the little sample that I have left, I just thought about it. That would be my seven fragrance, but I do have a 10 mil coming of them, both. Commodity, milk, or gold. Definitely gonna have you smelling like a snack as well. It don't really matter which one. My name is Jeremy, y'all. You are tuned into the House of Colossus. Hey, appreciate you guys, man. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about my videos. Until we meet again, much love from your boy. Hope to catch y'all in the next one. Oh, 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 oh. Before you go, y'all know y'all gotta drop some fragrances down in the chat. Peace.